All right, so I'm gonna go for a walk this morning. I'm actually gonna to walk to my grandma's. I've been doing a bit of editing this morning. Like, yeah, I've done, I did something like five in the morning and I woke up at half eight. Uh, yeah, I've done, literally my mum this morning set off at like half four in the morning, which is really, really early. And my dad wasn't gonna come back till about like half six. I mean, I did a little bit of editing. Trust me, it's 5 a.m. in the morning. I was surprised they even did some. And then I just did a little bit and then nodded off for like three or four hours. Well, three ish three hours anyway. And then, um, just in little bits, I've done a little bit, I've just done little bits really. Uh, yeah. Doing all right with it. Also, I have a slightly different bag on. It's a bigger bag. Uh, the reason why is because my work trousers split at the bottom of my groin area. Not pleasant. And my grandma has fixed them, uh, stitched them. So I'm going, I've took a bag with me to put them in. Uh, I've also got my work trousers in my bag as well because when I was on the clothes on Sunday, I was running round ragged to be fair and I caught my trousers on a metal frame uh, and my trousers split I pulled, I ripped my trousers apart uh, ironically where some of my trousers have pockets the two pockets where you have like your phone and your wallet and your keys them types of pockets and then there's a third pocket on the right side but not the left side and it's ripped just below that so it looks like another pocket so yesterday the dogs got two walks a 10 kilometer walk with me yesterday in the morning and then like a park walk in the evening with my dad and that's all they needed uh today not gonna do a 10k not in one go um i'm probably gonna walk to Siddle. so i set off at 9.45 so I was said I was gonna aim for like 11 o'clock to get there you see my bag will slowly lighten because I've got food in it which I don't think is that heavy really to be fair but I've got dog food like the half a can I've got dog biscuits uh, yeah I mean yeah I've got that stuff as well I've got me charge I've got my charger as well so there's certain stuff I can take out of my bag that will reduce the weight of it I mean the one thing that's gonna stay is like my charger and such and, and I put in my trousers in my bag because I've been taking home like three pairs so for the first time in quite a while I'm in North Dean Woods it's not too bad the entry point was a bit of a different story because some dick refused to move I was trying to walk my dogs around him and it's just like go around I had the dogs on the leads as well because he had a boxer dog rough as hell did he want to move? I had to do the responsible thing for him go around because he couldn't move to save his life and the thing is he had all the room in the world but uh, not up there <laughs> so the good news is the woodlands are not completely waterlogged because it rained What's in what seemed like forever never forever never that doesn't make sense forever never oh yeah, forever, it seems like it forever never stopped that's what I was saying before there's a band called forever never uh, it seemed like it didn't stop I think what I'm going to do is not go right because I'm going to be going down the hill where it could potentially be really bad 
So what I'm going to do is go uphill, stay along that pathway at the top, and then if it does get bad, I need to stay along the path, obviously, and then go left and follow the road up to the crossroads, off-road crossroad bit, and then go down to Copley. Go that way. And then potentially, when I walk back home, this afternoon to walk uh, back along the canal and just back home like normal really as if I'm walking home from work oh god oh god where did that come from not aiming for a 10k or anything I'm just going out for a walk Nice to the path not to be completely waterlogged and unavo un unwalkable. I'm curious to know if this path is uh, damaged or not. It's so far so good, it seems alright. It is a little bit muddy, but it's not like completely flooded and waterlogged to the point where it's like Oh, you can't even walk on it. It seems all right so far. I mean, I'm being careful. It is a little bit. Do you know, if it comes to it, I might have to go up that other path onto the main road. Well, the road anyway. And go up that way. And then go to the crossroads that way. Then go into Copley. Because this path might be severely damaged still like further on <laughs> getting warm <sighs> I was thinking to myself there's no way I'm going to take my coat and jumper off today on a walk because it would be a bit chilly but uh, yeah I think I'm going to have to at some point Essentially, when I get for, when I go down the hill uh, and drop to the canal, and then walk along the canal towards uh, Siddle, might have it off then. So I've just got my t-shirt on. You know, one of the videos I did yesterday amounted to uh, five, like five and a half gigabytes, which is a a lot. Oh my God, this is bad. Oh, that bit was bad though. Oh, that bit was really bad. I think for the safety of me and the dogs, when I do get to that path that goes to the left, I'm going to jump on it and go that way. It doesn't seem too bad. There's the little bits here and there that are a little bit, oh God. But there's certain bits that I like all right to walk on. It's down here, further where I'm going, where it was just so, so bad before. Yeah, and it still is. All right. So, took my jumper off, got it strapped on my waist, I put my coat in my bag, because it's big enough. Uh, and walking down the hill, towards Copley. I thought I could hear traffic but it's at the bottom of the hill. Um, got a cheese twist here. Uh, my dad said, uh, oh I joked that for you, one of your walks. I was like, yeah that'd be nice. So uh, I'm going to have that now. So I was like, thanks dad. I'm looking at my mileage, I'm at two miles. That's alright, that's pretty good. So I'm going to walk down the hill, which is the convenient bit. It's downhill, so I can do that. Uh, I'm still going to watch for cars though, because it is still somewhat of a road that so people drive up and down, but not very frequently. And um, then I'm going to walk along the canal to the Salter Hebel Locks, and I can walk along the Hebel Trail and then up into Siddle. 
not going to do all along the Hevel Trail and such. Uh, I'll just like go up that cobbled hill uh, in Siddle, well to get into Siddle and then uh, go to my grandma's and then potentially, oh bloody hell that was a big drop, uh, potentially uh, in at like two o'clock take them out for about half an hour around Siddle God, I'm losing my voice a little bit, shouting. You know how I said about less traffic and it's not very frequent? There's a bloody, uh, uh, what do you call it? Post van driving up the hill. And they want my dog to see a squirrel and that's it, they're gone. So, uh, one can be trusted off the lead, one cannot. So I've got one on the lead, one off. I think when I get to the canal, as such, I'll have them both off. I'll charge my phone up when I get to Siddle. I'm glad I brought my charger. <sighs> you know, one of my videos that I edited last night, which which is the same thing as this really, pretty much going to Siddle, it's like something like 30, 40 minutes long, and it's 5.5 gigabytes. <laughs> Wow, it's long. It's not well. It's not a long video, but it's a lot of gigabytes anyway. There's salt on the ground. Oh, I need to watch your eyes then. So I'm in Copley Village. Don't even need to stay in Copley Village for too long. That's the thing. Plus, I don't want to stay for too long either. Not because it's rubbish. There's a lot of traffic in Copley Village, and it's tiny. It's Copley. Well, well, it's not tiny, but the village is tiny compared to, well, next to the main road, it's still Copley. But, uh, yeah, next stop is the canal. I put my uh, coat back on. What's a bit here? Cool. Forgot about that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, got a bit cold. I actually went a wrong way, no, 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 I didn't go a wrong way, but I went a, an alternative way because there's someone in front of me that's walking slow as hell. So, the canal, you can either go down that way, or you can either go over the main road, or go that way, and I went quickly that way, and got past, got past in front. Then one of my dogs needs to go to the toilet, and then I put my coat in my bag, having just took my bag off, I had to take it off again. Uh, so I stood for like a good few minutes getting stuff done. I've got some fudge in my bag and I've got one of them drinks in my bag. Oh my god, there's six cyclists coming this way. Seven, eight. Uh, no more, just eight, eight. So, I'm on the Hebel Trail now, I'm going to walk along this path, then I'm going to go up the cobbled hill into Siddle, uh, and then um, walk to grandma, my grandma's. Got a drink with me as well, Pepsi Cherry, my favourite. You know, I wish to sell Pepsi, van Pepsi Vanilla in, ca in cans. But Pepsi Cherry is lovely. Last time I looked, three and a half miles, pretty good, pretty good indeed. Uh, and my main average for a Wednesday with minutes is 4.50. I'm gonna have to put dogs on. So, I've done 4.2 miles. I'm gonna go in now, sort the dogs breakfast out. I think they need drying first. Sort breakfast out and then, uh, yeah. Right, so I'm in Siddle. I've been to my grandma's for a couple of hours. I did 4.2 miles first walk, so now I'm walking home. Not gonna do that far. I'm gonna literally just walk down the hill, walk down to the Hebel Trail, then back along the canal. 
waiting to get to the bottom of the hill before I start filming again. Because that hill is steep. Let's try and walk down with the dogs. I'll look out for traffic. It's pretty hard. So I don't want to twist my ankle or anything or drop my phone or anything. So uh, play it safe and get to the bottom. Yes. <sighs> Not saying I'm going to do 4.2 miles going home, but uh, I'm going to take it about roughly an hour or so. Because I did 4.2 miles of walking, I only need to do two miles of walking to then complete 10k for today. So I'm going to be doing more than that going home, I would have said. I'm literally going to walk along the canal, or walk along the Hebel Trail first, then the canal to Salt Hebel Smelly Mile, straight to Westvale, and then back home. I had uh, loads of games on my phone, and I weren't playing them. So just like this afternoon, well this morning, this afternoon, I just played a few of them to the point where I'm like, yep, I can't do any further. So uh, I've deleted like, I've done like five or six different games. Recording a few and I can put them to my computer then. And then I was thinking like, what do I do in terms of footage? And like, how do I make a montage? And there was like one video I did a while back from a university work where I had some animation, animated visuals and three songs over the top of it. It was like 11, 12 minutes long. So I thought, why not just make a piece of footage, like get the footage to like 12 minutes long and use that? Because it's one of my favorite pieces to use. Just do that. Make like a 12 minute montage. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Oh, it's nice to be back on the canal and quiet as well because there was a lot more people on it this morning than there was like now. But I'm only going to be walking on Salt Hebel Bay. I'm not going to be going to Copley. I'll just be staying this way. I'm going to have to put the dogs on the lead. See a dog, how big is the dog? If I get further along, I'll see. Yep, they've got a husky. Time to put them on. Went to try start recording and then instantly choke. It's turning nice now. Well, it was nice this morning, but the uh, sun's come out. You know, my dad might want to go on his bike. Well, I don't blame him, the weather's nice. That's another dog. Just on its own. Oh no, there's someone else with it. I'm seeing a truck with the flashing lights on it in the, uh, in the bridge. Now either some idiot has misjudged it or it's just something completely different. But I'm seeing a truck now coming through it, only just getting through. Has he just parked there to go on his phone or something or well I'm gonna find out. I have no idea why he's there. Oh, is he road, he's road sweeping? Oh, right. In a truck. So the traffic along uh, the main road is not that bad. It's only like two o'clock in the afternoon. It feels really early compared to like having done like 4.2 miles and then walking home. My grandma was like, oh, I don't think you'll want to go out for another walk tonight. 
So yeah, maybe at like six, seven o'clock potentially. Maybe. Give the dogs a few hours rest at home. And I can have a few hours rest as well. And uh Yeah. Be nice just to have a sit down. Well look. Be nice just to have a rest anyway. I didn't want to have a kip at my grandma's in case I, you know, had a kip. But if I have one at home, it's not as bad then. You know, I'm pretty sure my mum finishes as well, pretty, pretty soon. So, uh, I'll get home at, like, about the same time, I would have said. <sighs> oh, God! Sleepy tired. Oh, sleepy tired. Yawning. Whew. Starting to spit ever so slightly now. I was about to say there's a smart ass at the bottom that's parked blocking the entrance to here. I hope I can get out. They're in the car though, they're just reversing back and forth. I think it's a bit weird. Yep, as soon as I get the phone out and get closer, they move. I think they realised if you're going to be a bit thick and park somewhere that you shouldn't really park, and if you see someone with their phone out doing this, I'd move as well. So, uh, yes, that's a very good decision from that person there. Good decision. So, I'm up to four, no I'm not, no, that's this morning, no, I'm up to 1.8 miles of walking, so I reckon when I get home it'll just be over 2.0 miles, well yeah, 2 miles, it'd be a coincidence if it was 2.2, and having done 4.2 this morning, do 2.2 this afternoon, and then I might need a rest. Have a shower, perhaps be a nice thing to do. Yeah. I wonder how many balloons will get handed out from Nat well Monday, well Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Kinda of curious to know. Because there's not many left. And the thing is you don't really need to be using that many up for them to all go. And I think realistically I was saying like oh Try and get as many done before the 17th of March. Um, but the next promotion won't realistically start because you have a gap, you have a week gap, or well, gap week where there's no promotion, you're just getting rid of the other promo toys or getting rid of other stuff. So we have one week there. Where if for some reason by the 17th there is still some left, you can get them handed out. And then potentially, the reason why I wanted to get them handed out on by the 17th is when you get the box of the new ones, you can then put both of them contain both of them amounts in so you can start to hand them out a week early. That's why I was saying, get them all handed out by the 17th. And if we can get them handed out before then, that would be uh, pretty cool. I'm one that primarily does them. So, uh, there's not a lot left though. So, I'm working, obviously I'm working this weekend, so, I have to see how many get done because realistically with working this weekend and if I'm allowed to be on dining area then I should presumably think they'll all go or nearly all go because the weekend is when it's the busiest with numbers should imagine so